So I am in the middle of rebuilding my command center, as I call it. Uh, I'm going to get a, a whole new desk, bigger desk that has two separate sections, one for painting, one for video editing, uh, new storage space, brush holders, all that, uh, cabinets, all the candies to make a really sweet painting center. And one thing I've been looking at is paint racks to uh, display my paints very nice and fancy and all that. Now I'll start off by saying I'm not a huge fan of paint racks, at least not in my current setup where real estate is an issue here, uh, where I got computer and paint both at the same spot. Uh, a box is much more efficient than a rack because a rack takes up a lot of room and you end up storing less paints, but it does have the uh, benefits of displaying your paints nicely and also making them easier to find. So <clears throat> now that I have more room, I'm looking into paint racks and I looked at a whole bunch of different company. I'm pretty sure I found every company that makes paint racks, but I found all of them slightly lacking or that they were just too damn expensive, uh, especially counting in shipping. I found some really nice ones that are only available overseas and it's like a $30 rack and then it's $25 to ship it to you. And I need multiple racks because I got a lot of paint. So it was hundreds of dollars in just shipping alone. So not doing that until I found this on Amazon. This is a $14 paint rack. It's acrylic, clear, six tier. It is size, in case you're interested, 11 and a quarter inches wide nine and a half inches deep and eight inches high. Some of you probably don't realize this isn't really a paint rack. What this is, this is a makeup organizer, I believe is the technical name. Uh, I believe it's mainly used for holding nail polish. At least that's what they show in the display pictures on Amazon. My first thought is what woman needs this much nail polish, but then again, I'm a guy who owns like 400 plus bottles of paint, so glass houses and all that so let's move on this not only price this actually has more benefits I think than one of the official paint racks out there uh, let me just start off yes it holds paint so it's got a little shelf here so the paints don't just slide right off which is good because I'm in earthquake country here and there we go, there is, it holds paint, ta-da. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven bottles of Alejo. This particular rack has six shelves. They make these things in all different shapes and sizes with different number of shelves and different widths and what have you. So this particular one will hold 66 bottles of Alejo paint. Now, there is a bit of wiggle room here so it doesn't hold the paint nice and secure, uh, which I think is a benefit. A lot of the official paint racks out there uh, have holes individually drilled into them to hold the paint nice and securely, which, to be honest, looks pretty, but I think it's rather silly. These are not eggs. These are paints. You don't need individual containers to hold them. Also, I'm kind of assuming that putting the paints back in a hole, you know, a tight-fitting hole, make it a little bit difficult to put all the paints back when you're in a hurry. That's just a guess on my part. But because this has a little bit of wiggle room here, you can fit different sizes and brands of paint. Uh, virtually all the other paint racks that you buy, you have to buy one specifically made uh, for one type of paint. So if you have all Vallejo, that's great. You buy the Vallejo rack, but if you're someone who has Vallejo, GW, and testers, you have to buy three different racks to hold all your different paint. That sucks. This one holds Vallejo, holds GW, I don't. Holds tester big bottle, holds tester small bottle. What else do I have here I can put in? I got a little squirt bottle of uh, alcohol and accelerant we'll put in there. Anyone still have route parts of paint lying around? Boom, that goes. Old Reaper bottles, a towel that fits in. And look, put your super glue in there as well. That'd be a little bit wobbly, that's a big bottle, but you get the idea. You can fit a whole bunch of different things in here. Yes, there's a little bit of wiggle room, so it doesn't look as pretty. And if you're for some reason to put this in your car and carry it around, yeah, the paints would fall over, but why would you be traveling with this? It's not made for that. So I, I really like this. You know, again, not just because of the $14 price, but because of the fact it doesn't have the individual holes, it just has shelving. Uh, so 
I really can't say much more about this. I just kind of wanted to spread the word. Uh, I did find some posts people suggesting this, uh, and um, frankly, there's not enough posts suggesting this because this is a brilliant idea if you're looking for something to display your paints. Again, it's kind of a, your situation makes this an optional purchase, but at $14, uh, it doesn't make it that hard to experiment and try it out. So, uh, yeah, I really like it. It's This is obviously made out of clear acrylic plastic. Very durable. I can't bend these shelves at all. Uh, this particular model has the shelving that's glued in here, and then you have to put on the side pieces. Other models has the shelving that are all individual pieces, and you have to screw them all in. Uh, yeah, these are available in different shapes and sizes with different amount of tiers and different heights and widths and all that. A lot of different options. So I just kind of wanted to spread the word out a little bit here because I like this thing. And hopefully it'll make me make it a bit easier for me finding all my paints because right now I just have my paints in a big box that I built years and years ago. So I can just keep putting paints in here all day. It's not going to get any more exciting than that. But uh, yeah, there you go. It's a, it's a $14 paint rack. It's a pretty good idea. I wish I could take credit for it. But at least I can help spread the word. Thanks for watching.